Welcome to week three of the wrap up. I'm Larissa Liska alongside Paige Saxe. Our game of the week is a rivalry. It's the Battle of Bell Street between the Emerald High Sandies and the Randall Raiders. Last year, the Sandies won 24 to 21. Such a close game. Now let's take you to the highlights. Fans pack the stands at Happy State Bank Stadium. Eager to see which team can pull off the rivalry win. First quarter we go, Sandys hand off to Levi Slayton through the gap to the end zone and Amarillo High is on the board first seven to zip. Now let's check out the kickoff. Randall receives off the bounce near the end zone. Ethan Cohen finds an opening and look at him go. Nobody is going to catch him. Wide open spaces and the Raiders tie it up at seven all. Same quarter, Randall ball, Braxton Bird follows his blockers, dives, touchdown. Raiders and Randall steals the 14 to seven lead. The Sandys will respond, ball near their own 40. Brock Wade looks downfield, heaves a shot and six foot one, Jamison Garcia makes the clutch catch, dives and scores, tying it up at 14 all. And it's Amarillo High winning the Battle of Bell Street 35 to 28. Hey, here we are at Happy State Bank Stadium. Battle of Bell Street didn't disappoint. Amarillo High 35, Randall 28. Five lead changes, four ties. We're here with Chad Dunham, head coach of Amarillo High. Back and forth, back and forth. You guys sucked it up and got the W. It was. We found a way to win tonight. Here, here's the deal. It's a rivalry game. You know, I knew coming into this thing, our kids knew coming into this thing, we were going to get everything Randall has. Randall has a good football team. That's a really good football team right there. But I think we have one in the making as well. Um, you know, we started off fast with our offense, went and scored, drove the field. What a great, great way to start. But then we kick off and like fell asleep and let him run the open or, or that or, or that ensuing kickoff back so uh we had to fight our way through it like you said five lead changes we came out ahead on this one i'm proud of our kids for fighting i'm proud of our kids for uh you know we faced adversity we talk about that and we fought through it super proud of them tonight yeah big big game right over here for jamison garcia junior wide receiver for emerald high five catches 203 yards three touchdowns take me into the game tonight uh, we knew it was going to be a hard-fought game. So in Battle of the Bell, you could tell, battled back and forth, and we came out with the win. Hey, the offense has been on and off, but you guys really shined tonight. What was different from the first two games? Uh, I think we did. We established a running game towards the second half, and then we, of course, our passing game was doing pretty good. How, how happy are you guys right now? Uh, we feel we feel like we got a good, pretty good team. we got a lot of potential, and we just got to keep getting better. All right, right here at Happy State Bank Stadium, I'm Lance Lawner. Your final score, Amarillo High 35, Randall 28. Let's take it back to the studio in that dynamic duo, Larissa and Paige. Thank you, Lance. Now, what a game for the Sandys. But we'll move on to the Tascosa Rebels. They are looking to improve from their loss to Midland Legacy last week, traveling to Odessa to face the Permian Panthers. Now, Mojo is trying to stay undefeated this season, but Tascosa always represents a challenge. We'll go to the opening drive for Permian. Rodney Hall drops back to pass, finds Jaquan Richardson. Great juke to make a guy miss and a big game for Mojo. That drive would stall out though. And then later, Tescosa's BT Daniel throws to Major Everhart. This guy is fast, one of the fastest players in the state. Big play on this catch and run. From there, Daniel powers his way into the end zone. The Rebels beat the Permian Panthers 40 to 21. And over at Dick Biven Stadium, the undefeated Paladro Dons held their home opener against Wichita Falls in front of a big crowd. First quarter, third down, Coyotes Bryson Vialpando on the quarterback keeper, falls his blockers to the house. Wichita Falls leads 6-0. to zero. The Dons answer, first and 10 on the 27-yard line. Handoff goes to Treshawn Moore. He dances outside, down the sideline. Moore goes untouched, 73 yards, touchdown, Palo Duro. Moore thanks his offensive line, and the Dons are up 8-6. to six. Second quarter, we go. Wichita Falls ball. Snap is high. Coyotes heave a shot downfield and finds a blue jersey. Avery Randall snags the interception for Paladuro. Dons do not convert. It was a tough battle. And Paladuro wins 39-14, starting the season 3-0 for the first time since 2012. So talk to me about what it means to be 3-0 for the first time since 2012. Well, it means a lot because since my freshman year, 
we been, haven't been starting real, off really well. So being a senior going through and all is really great. Um, I, I would say the same thing. Uh, I was in a similar situation to Raleigh as a senior. And so I, I understand how um, excited these guys are. That's what I wanted to bring to this community. Um, I, I thought I had a recipe and a blueprint that could uh, help us be successful. And so far, we, we've been successful. So I'm just really proud of these young men for the work that they put in. I'm proud of them for uh, the sacrifices that they've made and for how well they've played uh, to start off the season. Now let's take a look at our 5A game over in Perryton. The Rangers fall to the Caprock Longhorns 25-18. to Caprock's first win of the season, so congrats to them. But hey fans, if you took any cool photos or videos from the game, send them our way to newschannel10.com or Texas Panhandle Sports Network or scan the QR code on your screen below. You can even upload videos during the game and if you capture a cool celebration shot, you might even see it on the wrap-up. Stay with us for more highlights starting with 4A coming up after the break.